guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film a video kind of like playing with this Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream Foundation. It's actually the one I have on my face today. So if you guys are interested in hearing some of my thoughts on this product, just keep watching. Now if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel and joining me on this awesome YouTube journey. I personally watch a ton of YouTube and I love it when I see channels that upload all the time on my subscription feed so I'm just saying like subscribe you know because it'll be cool if you guys can see more of my videos anyway let's get into to talking about this product now, if you guys know me at all I've had a lot of Becca products in my lifetime I do love their aqua luminous foundation I owned it and went through an entire bottle of it I have not repurchased since because I'm trying, you know, other foundations out, so I haven't re-added it to my collection, but if you are looking for a beautiful, dewy foundation, I would recommend that. This one I also wanted to try because I was so curious about how full coverage this baby was, so I did film a demo. It is the foundation I have on today, so let's go ahead and watch the demo really quick. So this is what the bottle looks like close up. Pretty classic Becca packaging. I thought I would try a sponge applicator with it. I feel like it's such a creamy and thick formula that a brush does work, but I thought I'd try it with a sponge. So I'm just gonna dab it. It definitely has that foundation scent to it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And I'm just gonna apply this everywhere so you guys can get an idea of what the coverage is like. I really like to put little demos in my videos because I think it gives you a way better idea of how the product looks. I don't have anything else on my skin except for like moisturizer. And so this is my first step is to do foundation today. So I'm just going to use my little Becca Face Palette to make sure it's getting all over. And I think I just did two pumps and it's pretty full coverage. I feel like I could definitely put more on if I want to make it more opaque. This is such a great like matte formula if you guys are interested in that type of coverage. I definitely feel like I like my Huda foundation a little bit better. This one is so, so thick. I think if you have really oily skin, you might really enjoy this one. But on me, I'm looking at it in the mirror and I don't really like love it. And I think the match I got with the Huda like shade wise is better too because this one no, it just looks so olive on me. I don't know that I love it, but this is like almost first impressions for me because I've been wearing the Huda foundation so much that I haven't really had a chance to play with this one. So I think once I wear it this week, I'll have an idea of if I like it or if I'm planning on returning this back to store. I just feel like on camera it looks just fine, but when I look at it in my mirror, I feel like I can still see a lot of my dark spots, like around my mouth area, just not 100% in love with the coverage on this. Now, of course, I could put concealer on and stuff like that and uh, make my face look flawless, which I will um, when I finish this video, but overall I'm just like, mm. I don't know if I'm like in love with this foundation compared to some of the other foundations. I So I zoomed you guys out a little bit, but this is what the foundation looks like after I applied it. Now I'm 
thinking in my head like I'm comparing it to the Huda foundation which has been like a new favorite for me and I'm not 100% in love with the coverage on this one. It is very matte, so I think if you have oily skin, you will really, really love it. But I just feel like for Fargo in the winter time, I don't know that this does me the most justice as far as a foundation goes. Plus, it's a pretty pricey product, so I don't know that I love this. I feel like it will be different in the summertime because my skin would be a little bit oily, but I feel like for as full coverage as this is supposed to be I don't think it covered enough like around my mouth and stuff I feel like if I used it with a concealer it would be fine but I don't know it just looks really like it's emphasizing like all the darkness on my face and I don't think you can see that in the viewfinder or like on this video but like when I look at it in person I don't love how my skin looks, whereas when I put the Huda foundation on, I feel flawless. You know what I mean? Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the demo. So I was a little bit confused because I had forgotten that I had only tried this foundation out one time before and it was in the wrong shade. So it was a hot mess because I didn't get the right color. I do feel like this is definitely a better match and this is the shade Bamboo. This was my first time trying the shade Bamboo and as you can see in the demo, I wasn't 100% convinced because I feel like it didn't cover my face as well as like my Huda foundation, which I've really been loving the last couple of weeks. So that's kind of what I'm comparing it to. Do I like it better than the Huda foundation? And unfortunately, I don't feel like I do. Like looking at it in the viewfinder, I feel like my skin looks so, so flawless. But right now where I live in Fargo, North Dakota, it is so cold outside. I feel like my face would just like crack. Like I feel like if you picture like a clay pot, like it's so cold and this foundation is so matte. I just feel like it would like my face would just crack. I put so much like dewy spray on today. It feels a little bit more comfortable but in the demo when I was putting it on I just felt like it was so drying so I'm a little bit bummed but I feel like if you have really oily skin you'll probably love this I think I'm actually going to end up returning this and maybe trying it out in the summertime so I might pick it back up in the spring sale but I just feel like right now with the weather being the way it is it is not the right foundation for me so I hope you guys did enjoy my little review on it I really don't have much else to say, but I thought it was worth mentioning and making a whole video about because I do try out a lot more than just eyeshadow. I know I do a lot of eyeshadow palette reviews, so I've been buying some new foundations and I thought I would share my thoughts with you guys. So hopefully you found this video useful and entertaining. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I hope to catch you guys on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!